All right, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to look at an issue people run into in their eLearn courses, which is uh, when they have media on a slide, you get that blank slide. So let's go ahead and publish a course first. I've just got a single slide here. I'm going to go ahead, go to publish, and we're going to publish this to review. We'll call this demo here. And let's go ahead and publish this. And let's click in the project. And then we can see here that uh, this is what uh, the course would look like by default. Here, so it's going to load up so we can see that looks exactly the way we want it to look. But what happens when you add media on that first slide? So we're going to come back here and we're going to add a media file. I'm just going to go to insert. We'll insert some audio. I'm going to record some speech and say this is an audio track. Right? I'm going to insert that. So now we have audio on here. Let's go ahead and publish this. And we're going to go to review. We're going to create a new one. We'll say demo with audio. All right. So what's going to happen once this is published and it has audio on there? All right. You'll notice now the audio track added this. So without the audio, we get this. With the audio, we get this. And the reason is the browser knows that audio needs to be activated. And so you click this, that loads up your slide and all of that. So how do we eliminate that? There's a couple of things you can do. So let's go back to Storyline. Uh, because there's an audio track on the first slide, what some people do is they'll duplicate the first slide. So they'll go Control D, they duplicate it. We're just going to retitle this. We'll call this Extra, just so we can see it. Extra slide, right? And then this will be our welcome slide. So we have this extra slide. We're going to get rid of the audio on it. So it's basically just the exact same slide. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put a trigger on here that says jump to this slide when the timeline starts. So we go to jump to slide, next slide when the timeline of the slide starts. So what's going to happen is the slide's going to load up and automatically jump to here. So it's going to eliminate that uh, black uh, play button that we get. So let's go ahead and publish this. And we're going to call this demo with extra extra slide and you see here the extra slide loads up and then it slides to that right so for the end user they don't know that now what you want to do is go into the player settings and just remove the slide from the menu and then it would just say welcome layout but when they go to that slide like i'm going to click backwards and you're going to see it's going to go here and it's going to jump right back and you can see it played the audio. This is an audio track. I don't know if you can hear that. This is an audio but you can see it's jumping, right? So that just gets, that's an easy way to do that. And as you can see, it works. Now, sometimes because you have audio that still needs to be instigated, you probably have to have something that causes the audio to play. So you might want to put a trigger that says play audio when uh, timeline starts versus just having the audio on the timeline. So that's just something to consider. Let me show you one more way you can do this. So we're going to come back to Storyline. And uh, what we're going to do in Storyline, let's go ahead and get rid of this extra slide here. So we've got our audio track on here. What you can do is go into the Home Settings, right? And then we're going to go into Player. And then inside the Player, uh, what you'll notice is that there's a Cover Photos feature here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I was doing a demo. So we're going to go to Cover Photos. We're going to add Cover Photo. And we're going to choose a photo. And the photo can be the first slide, or maybe you have your own picture you want to put on there. So we're going to do first slide. And now what's going to happen is that first slide still has the media on it. So you're going to get the play button, but you're going to get the cover photo. So you won't get the black box. So it'll look a little more like your course, right? So go ahead and OK. Now let's go ahead and publish this. And we'll call this one demo with cover and hit publish. And now what you get is a cover photo with the play button. It looks a little bit better than uh, wherever. I guess we overwrote it, but um, it looks better than the uh, black slide, right? So if we preload this again, uh, that black slide, you know, this doesn't look great. Uh, this is a cover, right? So then I have, still have to click it, but then it loads up my course. It kind of makes sense. 
and the audio plays. Uh, or you can do the extra slide, right, and then it loads. Uh, and that's kind of a seamless experience as well. So it just depends on what you want to do. Either way, the audio still has to be activated. Uh, the extra slide gives you, kind of launches you in your course. This way, if we reload this, uh, what this does, it'll give you a cover photo of your course, and then you play it and it loads the course. So a few different ways you can approach that. Hopefully that helps.